This is a video to show how to make a player portrait for Madden NFL 2008. In it, I'm going to use a free image editing tool called GIMP and a photo that I downloaded from Getty Images. First, I'm going to take the Rectangle Select tool in GIMP. Next, I'm going to set the Aspect Ratio, which will set the shape of the box that I'm going to draw over the player's face. Last, I'm going to turn on Highlighting and Center Lines which will also help me judge how the player's portrait will look in game. So I'll draw my box over the player's face, center it as best I can, and overall this looks fairly good. So I'll go to Image and Crop to Selection. Next I'm going to want to remove the background, which is currently gray. In Madden, we use transparent backgrounds. So first, I'm going to set the background to Transparency after using the eraser tool. So to set transparency, you go to layers, transparency, add alpha channel. Next, you could try using the fuzzy select tool, or the magic wand as I've always called it, and set a threshold, which will choose uh, how much of a color it will try to select when using the wand. If we were to use it as it is now, then it would try to delete the jersey that the player has, since the jersey color is very similar to the background. To fix this, we're going to use the eraser tool and draw a line around the jersey, just to make sure that the wand doesn't pick up the jersey. So I've already set the background to alpha for when I do use the eraser. Next I'm going to set it to hard edge and a size of 1, so that it will be just large enough to register for the wand. So I'll zoom in a bit more, go on to one side of the player's portrait, and draw a erased line from the edge of the portrait up to the little blue ring going around the neck. Next I'll do it for the other side. We'll next use the magic wand again, select it, and see how it looks. Most of the portrait is not picked up by the wand now but there's just a little bit inside the neck that's the same color as the background. So I'm going to use the eraser on that as well. I'll just draw a small little line there, get the wand, zoom out to see how it looks. And it looks good enough. So I'll press delete on the keyboard, and now it has a transparent background. At this point, it still isn't in the correct shape for putting in Madden. So I'll go to Image, Canvas Size, and set the entire image to have a size of 300, the size that it has for height. So I put in the number, click center, then resize. Now it's a perfect square, but even as a perfect square, it still isn't ready to be imported into Madden yet. So next I have to go to scale image, also under image, and I have to set the image size. Madden can handle a image that is a multiple of 96. So if I wanted it to be extra small, I would set it to 96 by 96. In that case, it would look rather small and fuzzy. So instead, I'll set it to 192 by 192. I'll click Scale, and now it's the right size. At this point, I'll go to File, Export As, and set it to a PNG. A JPEG file does not have a transparent background. That's why I can't save it as a JPEG like it started out as. So I'll set it to PNG, remove the J, and click Export. Now I'll click Export again, and that's all the work that I have to do in GIMP. But that's only half the job done. I'll go ahead and close out GIMP, and now I'll load the PNG file in Photoshop. Photoshop's DDS files are the only images that can be taken by Madden. Any other image type won't work. Any DDS file by a different editor won't work either. It can only be done in Photoshop. So, in Photoshop, I've loaded up the image. I'll click on File, Save As, and set it to DDS, which I already put in using one of the utilities that I have listed on the page that this is going to be posted on. 
by default it wants to save it as a copy but I don't need it to be saved as a copy so I will remove that and now it'll be saved as tombrady.dds next I'll click save this is another very important part for saving it as a DDS you need it to be saved with these exact settings I'll also have an image of this on the forum page for you to look at but make sure that it is set exactly as it is now so having done that I click save and it's done after this point it'll be a matter of importing it into the portrait pack which I'll show in a different video